<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to the Play for Life Comics FOC show for 7-30-22. Um, give a little explanation about us and what this is. We are a full service comic book store here in beautiful downtown Wake Forest, North Carolina, just outside in the greater Raleigh-Durham area. Um, FOC is our last chance to adjust orders uh, for books typically coming three to five weeks out. A little bit longer if it's a hardcover. Um, and I know it can be confusing sometimes because some of the books we're showing are coming out, uh, for example, let's say August 25th, but then some are going to come out September 3rd. Most and, of these are August 17th and 24th. Okay. <coughs> and so it can be confusing, but like, for example, Marvel tends to uh, want their orders in four to five weeks out. Most indies are three weeks out. DC is a hard three weeks uh, with things like hardcovers and books, and we tend to focus on at least one of those per show. It is uh, quite a bit further out there, usually, let's say, for example, November, something like that. Um, but we do our best to uh, show... Um, what you we think you might be interested in. So we attach a, a form, um, a Google Docs form, and all the books that we mention and all the covers, you can go in and just click a check. I think you got to enter what your phone number and email, and that's about it. And you just go in there and you click and click and go, and we'll have them ready for you. If you're local, we'll have them here held for you. Um, if you're new to doing it, let us know who you are and all that, and we'll – get you in there. Um, but we also do three shows a week where we sell comic books all over the world and ship them wherever. So uh, we do offer this service to those people our out of staters as well, because um, we'll offer pull box services for people who may not have a local comic book shop. And we do offer a 20% discount on these books and just reach out to us. If it's shipping to you is something we need to do our shipping rates, uh, will um, translate over to here as well. We do $9 for up to eight books, and that is USPS flat rate priority mail shipping. We package it in a Gemini mailer. We put it in a padded bubble envelope. usually gets to you in two days. Uh, our next tier is $16, and what it is is the medium box. And with modern books, it'll hold anywhere from 40 to about 55 books usually. Um, and we can ship that to you at $16. That's the bang for your buck. So if letting them stack and build a box works for you, we'll work with you. You just got to reach out and let us know. Um, now, another thing I'll say is we only show a handful of books on this. We tend to focus on number ones, keys. Uh, we go by key collector, future keys, usually try to see if there's a first appearance, um, kind of hot second prints. Or, or another thing we do quite a bit of. And then great looking covers. You'll see a great example is an Action Comics on here. Just, just a killer cover. Um, so we focus on that kind of stuff. Now, with the form, we only have what we show on there. But we do leave a big old blank space down at the bottom. And what you can do, like, for example, if you think having 10 of these may benefit you of a certain cover, we'll order you 10. We don't mind. Um, but also, you know, you can let us know there are dozens of other books on FOC every given week. Uh, now some of the more obscure stuff, we tend to shy away from some of the statues and toys and things like that. We try to focus on the books and, um, there's dozens of other ones. And if it's a DC title, you can find all that stuff on. LunarDistribution.com. You scroll down about three little sections and it'll come up FOC for the week. It's books coming about three weeks out. That's what we use. Um, that's where we get our thumbnail pictures and all that stuff. That's for DC. Anything that's non-DC, we use Diamond Distribution Company. Their site, and they got a great site, is Previews World. Now, the best way to find the FOC on Previews World, in my opinion, is what I do every week, is I type in preview, Previews, FOC, pops right up for the week. It's right there. You dig in, and you will see dozens of, if not 100-plus books every given week that you can order real, or uh, adjust orders on. And you can fill those in. We leave a big blank spot for that. 
Um, and we have several people that let us know their general reading stuff, you know, so if you, you know, you've been reading Spider-Man and you need issue number seven, you can put that in there and pick the cover you want. So without further ado, I'm going to get started now that we've done kind of a deep dive on explaining how it works. Um, we're going to get started here. This is an image number one this week. Old Dog number one with Declan Shelby uh, writing, I believe. Um, typically an artist, but I believe this is him doing his writing. If I'm wrong on that, let us know in the comments. We always do appreciate that. And we are doing this on Facebook and YouTube. So uh, if you're seeing it on Facebook, follow, like, share. If you're seeing it on YouTube, please like and subscribe. We always appreciate that. It helps our algorithm out. So. He is the cover artist. Okay, cover artist. All right. Uh, so what this book is, is this guy was a top agent in whatever agency he is. Um, and and he kind of, he's getting up towards retirement. And he goes out on like kind of a, a last mission. Cut two, he wakes up many years later. Uh, they don't give you much explanation beyond that. Wakes up many years later, and the same agency needs him to get back out there in the field. Uh, the world's changed quite a bit, but they need his skill set. And so he goes back out there, and uh, they got to kind of teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, it kind of makes me think of, a, oh, what was the Sylvester Stallone movie with... Uh, Demolition Man. Demolition Man kind of has Him a Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes and the seashells. I always remember the seashells. I always remember Taco Bell being the only oh, fast, yeah. <laughs> fast food restaurant left in the world. So there you go. Got a Demolition Man feel. Here's your uh, Marcos Martin B cover. And a blank sketch. All right. This is out 831. Uh, just about <laughs> a, a week after or about 10 days after our Comic-Con. Wake Forest Comic-Con, guys. Uh, August 20th, put it on your calendar. Come check us out. Magic the Gathering, a Johnny Goldmane. I uh, believe this is a one shot, right? Uh, he's a fan favorite character. I'm not a big magic guy. Not sure. Not played a lot in years. Did he uh, say he was a famous healer in the game? Okay, famous healer. So he's got kind of that going for him. He kind of looks like the. Uh, they're about to do a spin off of the Invincible series with. Uh, I think his name was Battle Cat or something like that. He looks a lot like that to me. Um, but he, you got a great Ethan Young B cover. It's very Frazetta esque. Picture this painted on the side of a van or something, you know. So there you go. On the Minor Threats, this is from Dark Horse Comics. This one's kind of interesting. Nice four issue miniseries. What I like about miniseries is you don't have to uh, commit a lot of time to chasing these uh, issues down. You read it for a few months and you're done. Um, this is in this world, these are kind of C list vil villains, and someone named Stickman has gone and killed uh, who is kind of a Robin, someone who's kind of a Robin type character, so kind of a sidekick to a top, top tier uh, hero. And the heroes have just locked down everything, nobody can do nothing. So, all these C list villains decided they're going to team up catch this guy for the heroes so they can get back to normal and get back to doing their old tricks. Um, so here you go. And it's written by Patton Oswalt. So there you go. Uh, the actor um, who, if you read many graphic novels or trade paperbacks, that guy is always given the little, like the little blurbs that say, Oh, great read, thrilling read, you know, that kind of stuff. He does a lot of that stuff. So, but here's him writing a comic book. You got a B cover from uh, Mike Mignola of Hellboy fame. Uh, not sure what the difference in that and the in that. Uh, it looks like that one. The, um, uh, it's right a gold. A, it doesn't say it's going to be a gold foil, but that's what I believe it's going to okay. be. Okay, dollar gold more foil. for gold foil. Yeah. All right. Daredevil hardcover. Now we offer twenty percent off on all these books except our hardcovers uh, that we feature each time. The margins just aren't there for us to do it. This is Frank Miller, Daredevil. Um, some of the best Daredevil, uh, if you're familiar with it, he introduces Elektra, uh, kills off Elektra, does Bullseye. a lot with Bullseye. Yeah, so it, it's some of the quintessential Daredevil stuff. Again, this is coming out in January. 
hundred dollar cover price on this one. Got a B cover. That's the classic. I forget what number is. Oh, well, 181. There we go. Um, classic cover. Here's kind of a newer cover. Also Frank Miller art. Mandalorian, number one, second print. Got kind of a show variant here. Um, we'll probably have plenty of these in the store, guys. The, the number one flew off the shelves for us. It was a good read. Uh, definitely just kind of a uh adaptation of the show so there you go thunderbolts uh they've been announcing at uh comic-con that they're going to be a big part of phase six i believe five phase five it's going to be the last part of phase five so most likely a movie um and if you ever read i mean there was just some great reading and it ran for 100 some issues the original run um just a cool team uh, it looks like they're putting on some real, uh, what I think they're trying to make into top tier characters going forward. So you got Monica Rambeau, America Chavez, Hawkeye, a couple I'm not familiar with. If you guys are leave, leave something in the comments. Hey, we're, we definitely don't know everything and I learn something new every day. Try to anyway. So there you go. Thunderbolts, number one of five, David Nakayama DNA cover. Uh, you got a Caselli trading card variant there. Kind of the older uh, logo look. Um, kind of a take on the old building of the uh, Empire State Building uh, picture. I forget. Uh, it was in Time Life, maybe. Something like or Time Mag. Like one of those. Uh, Is Isaac say. Uh, uh, yeah, and then Brandon's favorite cover text. Yeah, the Twa Todd Nwok headshot cover. I wish they did every cover just like this. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I don't know. They just don't do it for me. Hey, I know some people love them. More power to them. Uh, this is a Mark Bagley variant. This is kind of a throwback. I think this is the old. Yeah, this is mostly members of the old team. You got Citizen well, that's actually V. A it's actually another book. It's a Marvel oh. Tales. Oh, okay. Thunderbolt number one. So it's a, a retelling of. Hulk 449, uh, the first couple of issues of Thunderbolts and all that sort of to get, I think to get them refreshed in the people's mind, yeah, for, <coughs> for the upcoming movie. Yeah, the Marvel tales are great. They tend to reprint three to four key issues of uh, whatever the their focus is that month. So, on the gun, honey. This is the hard case crime stuff from, I believe, Titan Comics. They're knocking it out of the park with these covers. I got to say, they're putting some big, big heat on it, too. Big talent. And Guys, if you want one, you better FOC it out. Don't expect to go walk in the shop and just find them sitting on the shelves very easy. No. I mean, we'll probably order a number of them, but, yeah, we won't have access to this. But you got Killer Adam Hughes cover there. It was kind of a showgirl with a shotgun. I mean, come on. Yeah, Jeez. and the story is that the girl who was the, the greatest weapons expert the, in the previous story has sort of gone off to recover from her, her wounds and all that of the previous uh, adventure. And while she's gone, she's been set up for murder. <coughs> so so now she's got to try to come back and clear her name. Now this was the one. Uh, uh, gun honey. She's holding a gun. She's covered in honey. There you go. Art germ cover. Knock it out of part. There's two great art germ covers uh, this week. You'll see the next one here in a minute. Um, three ninety nine book. Here's your cosplay cover. My favorite. There was a, I think it was the girl who shot Tesla. These guys did, uh, and this same guy had a cover, and it really kind of put me onto his artwork. It's got almost a. Uh, who's the guy that did Saturday Evening Post? Um. Anyway. Uh, Norman, Rockwell. Norman Rockwell kind of feel to it. It's just got that tone to it to me. Um, Robert McGinnis, just great covers. Got a Lensner cover, famous for Dawn. Um, Romaine Hugalt cover, not familiar, but good looking cover. Adam Hughes Copic version variant. So you got kind of a sepia tone almost thing going there. Uh Robert McGinnis, FOC Virgin variant. 
on to Scout Comics, uh, Mr. Easter, Mr. Easta, number one. Um, guess this guy, Kit Wallace, or her, I'm not sure. Uh, very well known for just drawing blood, guts, and gore. Um, so you got all that uh, with an Easter bunny. So there you go. It's supposed to be an intergalactic tale of mayhem. There you go. So intergalactic tale of mayhem with a bloody, uh, gruesome Easter bunny. So if that's your thing, there you go. Uh, until my knuckles bleed, this has been a series um, out for a little while. This is a one shot. So one of the main heroes, this is kind of a newer universe of heroes and whatnot. Um, it's it, actually one of the old heroes from the 90s. Okay. It's supposed to be trying to find redemption for himself. And right. he has to reveal his greatest secret in order to get that redemption. And it involves the heroes. I think it's the CIA and a creature that's buried in the center of Europe. Okay. So there we go. It's a bit big, uh, big tale. And he's trying to kind of get in the good graces, I guess there. This is a one shot, just a one and done story. Probably pretty good. Um, you got a couple different covers, Victor Santos here. Um, Armidas Blanco. On to action comics. Now, rarely, Usually, you know, if there's three covers to a book, it's three. Maybe you get one great cover. Maybe you get two. Rarely are all three just killer. Lucio Perillo, if you're not familiar, he does a lot of uh, Vampirella, Red Sonia, a lot of dynamite stuff. And just a great, I think he oil paints all this stuff. I mean, it's, it's like high art level stuff. Uh, follow him on Instagram. He does some amazing stuff on there. It's just cool to watch. Italian artist. Uh, Action Comics 1046. So you got, it looks like John Henry Irons A cover. Right. Going to Libra Mayho, another artist I like. He's been knocking it out of the park with Detective Comics um, for some time now. And just his, like, I don't know how to explain, shadowing or whatever. He just... He just adds this texture to stuff that just blows my mind. Great artist. Sort of gives that, that noir look yep. to it. Kind of gritty. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got Art Germ, Stanley, Art Germ Lau, swimsuit, cardstock cover with Supergirl. Again, another home run. Um, some of the swimsuits are better than others. We got a Harley Quinn one coming up that I'm, nah. Eh. And uh, I, I feel like they could have really knocked it out of the park like this, but they didn't. Um, so there you go. There's one to order, you know, and again, guys, order multiples. If you think uh, having 10 of these things down the road is going to benefit you, go on and order them. Uh, this is what I think they should have been doing with facsimiles for a while. They always do facsimiles of things that I'm kind of, some of them are good. Some of them are okay. This one's great. This is uh, first appearance of Batman, uh, Detective Comics 27, Bob Kane cover. Probably Bill Finger cover, let's be honest. But Bob Kane is who claimed it. Um, so there you go. First Batman story ever. Um, so it's going to be a very small portion of it. I've read it. I want to say it's about a 12-page story out of 60-something pages. So you get all the other stuff. I think there's a Slam Bradley story in there. You'll get the original ads because it's a facsimile. Definitely check it out. A little piece of history there and. uh I don't know about you guys. I definitely can't afford the original. So here's a good way to yeah, check it. I don't it. think I've ever read Detective 27, so I'm I'm excited just to read it. I have read it. If you're used to modern comics, it is not a – it doesn't have the same pace. And that old stuff is wordy. But it's, you know, hey, it's Batman. It's the first Batman story. On to Harley Quinn, you got your uh, John Boy Myers uh, A cover. And I like John Boy Myers. This one's better than usual. You got a Derek Chu B cover, which is better than you. Derek Chu, in my opinion, tends to be very digital looking. Um, this one's got a little softer feel to it. And it does a thing I like a lot of cover. There's been a She Hulk and Flash and Nightwing. Whenever they show a bunch of versions of one character, kind of mashed all in there i like those cool cover um that's the cardstock cover for a buck more uh this is probably my favorite of, the, of this run this is harley quinn uh this is the homage to uh killing joke 
This is the swimsuit, Megan Huang swimsuit cover. Some of the swimsuits have been good. This one, I don't know. It's okay. But there you go. They're sitting on a toxic barrel with the hyenas. Olympus Rebirth, last book of the show. Um, this one's interesting. This is a one-shot. Uh, Queen Hippolyta, Wonder Woman's mom, has died in battle and gone on to their afterlife. Uh, and ha they have deemed her worthy to be put into the pantheon of gods on Olympus, uh, Mount Olympus. Uh, you know, get you a little bit of Greek mythology there. And... Um, so going into that, she's trying to navigate her way around. Some people think she should be there. Some people do not think she should be there. So this is a nice uh, one-shot, one-and-done uh, kind of self-contained story. You can enjoy about Hippolyta with a great Tedesco A cover and a two little toy cardstock B cover for a dollar more. And that wraps us up for the evening, guys. We do appreciate, as always, you guys checking us out. Like, subscribe on, fa on uh, YouTube. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Check out some of our other pages. We also have uh, the Wake Forest Comic Con page. Check that out. Like it. Um, we do our three sh uh, sales shows a week, Tuesday and Thursday nights and Sunday morning on, on both these platforms as well. So it's a great way to pick up some books. Tuesday night show, we tend to focus on new books. And uh, this is actually a great way for us to figure out to order more stuff for shows like that. Um, gives us a feel of what you guys are hunting and what's what's of interest to you. Um, so it helps us as much as it helps you. Uh, we do appreciate everybody watching and hope you all have a great safe week out there. And we will catch you next time.